Quiz time. What is the largest industry in the world? It's the meat industry. It uses 40% of all habitable land. Now, if you Google that, you might find a different story because Google will tell you what is the largest financially. Then you'll see oil, you'll see other infrastructures, and agriculture will be like number five. But agriculture is actually number one. And the reason for this is because land is tied to self-sovereignty, permaculture, sustainability, having an environment that will ensure our children have a future. And guess what's using all the land and all the water? It's the meat industry. It's time to wake up. The reason you don't know about this, and it's not your fault, the government has been subsidizing meat since the 1920s. Before you were even born, there have been laws passed to artificially inflate the cost of all other food by deflating the real value of meat. Therefore, all these fast food jobs, all these restaurants, all these grocery stores that serve meat are actually part of a government psyop to extract the people from the land and milk them like a tax cow. You gotta wake up. Boycott, join a sustainable revolution with me where we grow our own food and eat tax-free in the community. Plant cloning is so easy. Any plant you can buy from the store, you can clone almost any plant. Any cutting of a bush, you can clone. Any seed that you can propagate. Get on that, get on that. Solar water heating, compost. Compost can generate $10,000 of heat in a year. Why aren't we heating our homes with compost, geothermal? Again, this is there's so many infrastructure problems wrong with America, all because the necessitation of an inefficient system requires them to conglomerate all the resources of the land in the name of feeding people. Another issue is curb appeal. Houses should not be built with curb appeal, but rather should be built for whatever climate they are suited for. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, your house should have as many windows as possible on the south side facing sun. That way you get the most amount of free heat during the winter. And in the summer, you can just add blinds or a shade reflective add-on to your windows that will reflect light. That way you're not heating up too much. Simple solutions like these can generate more money than this inefficient tax system will ever generate. This inefficient tax system is leading us off a cliff due to the invisible hand. You think you have an identity in this consumer culture, but that's the very thing. You don't. 30 to 50% of you is being taxed away due to income tax, sales tax, payroll tax, insurance taxes, various extortionist bureau bureaucratic agencies that are here to diminish your value that are here to divide that are here to get you lost in the muck of bureaucracy